I want to break down Martin's goal into four parts, and it all starts with the ball in Hugo Lloris's hands about 15 seconds before it's in the back of his net. And this one, he didn't chuck in himself. Number one, structure. Tottenham have the ball, so there's a number of strategies implemented here in order for Arsenal to get that ball back as soon as possible. The ideal here is to make Lloris send it long, as that way Arsenal have a much higher chance of winning possession in the air or from a second ball. Nketiah is agitating Lloris to force him into a decision, trying to stop him from thinking clearly and assessing his options. Spurs tend to aim to dominate the wide areas and push their fullbacks up, so Arsenal have a numerical superiority here, 5 against 4, a conscious decision in order to overload Spurs' first phase. That could leave us exposed elsewhere, but it's probably a risk worth taking against a team whose vertical ball progression and interior ball combinations are really not very good.